Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're back at the chapel and it's just an update really of where we're at now. So let me show you what stage you're at. So we are working on the ground floor and we've got a lot of these uh, bronze cast iron radiators to go in. They weigh an absolute ton, but the guys here have done a really good job of getting all this original floorboards up and they've supported um, underneath on all the locations. So what we have done is run all the copper pipe work through the joists um, lagged it insulated it and for the time being we've just branched off uh, with our t-pieces and they're just ready to go once the floor's back down so the main bulk of work what we've done is on this wall here so on the other side of this wall is the boiler room and this is where we broke through so you can see here We've got our, our flow returns, hot, hot return, balance cold and a cold water main. So we've got a ground floor zone which is coming down here on the right. And then we've got a cold, hot return and hot just branching off to a new kitchen which is going here. And then further along down there is the uh, utility room and downstairs toilet. So the next part of this job really is obviously to get the radiators on. But once all these electrics are moved, we're going to run this pipe work all the way up to the flat above. And that will pick up a new underfloor heating manifold uh, for like the annex type part or the flat that's above. And um, that'll be pretty much done to phase three. So we are just waiting on the radiator valves to come and then we can start getting these uh, lovely radiators in position. So. For the time being, we've got to step back from this job and we'll move on to something else. Okay, so it's our third day now at the chapel working on this ground floor and we have started to get all these radiators um, piped up. So they are extremely heavy. It's taken about three of us just to move them into position. So you can see here, this is a pipe work that we had run um, underneath previously. And we've just brought the towels up. We've been given these really nice uh, brush brass valves that we've installed and they've got the sleeves and the shrouds to match. So it looks really, really nice. Um, this side of the property was all filled up last night and we have had these rads all running. So we're just moving over to the kitchen side. So in this part of the property, there are four of these and I must admit when I walked in this morning, they were lovely and hot. So I'll take you over to here. This one you can see a bit clearer with the pipe work. So all the pie work is getting lagged, obviously as per part L, but they've also lifted up all these floorboards to put the CellarSex underneath, so it should retain the heat quite nicely in here eventually once um, this building's been heated up for a few days. So we've got no wall ties yet, but we'll put them in afterwards. We'll just use a long drill brick with some threaded rod and some resin. But again, these are uh, radiator valves. So this one here is a lock shield. As you can see, actually really, really nice and decorative. So we're moving on to the kitchen side of the property, which is through here. And Bailey is just getting these all first fixed. So the way we do this is we put the valves onto the radiator first and we are using glue just to make it a neater appearance. And then we're putting um, short lengths of copper towels on and then we can measure the distance between the two to get our pipe centers. So over here, Bailey's done the first one and we're just gonna leave these capped for now because you can see the wall behind is not quite finished. So they'll be capped and we'll get those all pressure tested. And then we've got a second one going here underneath the windows. And then we're just moving into one of these back rooms now and we need to hang a radiator in a bit of an awkward position. So we've got a large radiator going over here. It's a uh, white steel panel rad, but we need a bracket here and a bracket here. So we need to bring it right out to avoid this pillar. Uh, this is just a customer request. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and use threaded rod with some resin, hang the rads and, uh, or hang, hang the bracket, sorry, um, get them secure with the nuts. And then we're just gonna get it piped up through here. So. 
Um, another thing, exciting times. There's three of us now. <laughs> Say hello, Oscar. Hi. He's our new apprentice. And uh, he's just doing Bailey's head in over here. <laughs> okay, so we're in this like storeroom type location now, which is at the very back of the building. And the client just wants one of these secondhand radios hung up here. So like I just said, we've got this really awkward um, hanging location. Where we've got this pillar in the way. So what I'm doing is I'm just working out the center between the end of the wall and the door frame. And then obviously I'll mark my brackets like normal. Um, the main difference being is when I hang my brackets, I'm gonna hang them on threaded rod. So just to step it away from here. So I'm gonna use um, M10 rod, so 10 mil rod. And hopefully that'll be strong enough. Although this is a huge radio, I might have to put three or four on um, each bracket, but we'll see. So yeah, let's uh, get our bracket locations marked, get the holes drilled and get a rod in. Okay, so I've got the brackets mounted on the wall now, and as you can see, we've got the threaded rod uh, into the hole with the resin bonding, and then I've just got a 10 mil nut either side of the rod, and that's just protruding the bracket just past this pillar here. So uh, they feel pretty sturdy, so it should um, hang okay, although it probably won't look too great. Okay, so the rad's on the wall now, and you can see it stepped off just in front of that pillar that's protruding in the middle. Bailey and Oscar are just starting to get this all piped up, and Bailey's giving Oscar a crash course with getting it all piped through and using a pipe bender. So it's not going to look the prettiest, but it's what the client wants. Uh, obviously, the rest of them through here are all cast iron, but this is just a storage room. So the rad's huge, big enough to heat up this big storage space. So yeah, uh, how are you finding your uh, first solder in a pipe bending, Oscar? Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're just about to fill it all back up again, and unfortunately, we've got a nail for a pipe, but who's to blame? <laughs> should have the pipe been in the center of the joist, or should the chippies have seen it? <laughs> right, so the nail in the pipe is a great opportunity for Oscar to practice his soldering and pipe bending skills again. So, Bailey's just advising him this time, you're gonna get the S-Bend in, is that right? Is that what we're doing, an S-Bend down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've got the measurements and we're just going to bend that back into place to get it soldered up so yeah let's see how you get on do the frame the other way mate away from the floorboard like that yeah away from any wood a little bit further away that's it uh, Beautiful. 